I know, I must be training up craft in a ton. Yeah, I already got 20. Oh god, quests. Right, well a lot of things need 20 craft in. Cut sapphire. Sapphire ring! <gasps> I need one of those, I just remembered. I need a sapphire ring. Let's see, if I get a magic... Magic? Um... New... Oh, enchant sapphire. Level 7. Right. Got it. I need to make a ring of recoil. Which you do by making a sapphire ring, then enchanting it. And because that ring of recoil will reflect any damage that the KBD or anything else that I'm fighting is, I think it does like 10% of the damage back, up to a certain amount of damage. But that could seriously really help, especially if I could make quite a few. I could just use it like normally, and then any damage, you know, will do a little bit back, which will really speed speed it up. Even, you know, just for the Slayer task that I've got at the moment, a giant bats, it could really, really help. Right, super bad. Right, this is a real good... I'm, I remember that there was something that I need to check up on. Right, so I've only got a couple of sapphires at the moment. But what would be the best way to obtain sapphires? I know that there's a shop, like a gem shop, over in Alcarib, but it's never got any stock. It's player stocked. So that's no good. Um, there is a sapphire spawn in the wildy. I think I might have already just mentioned this a few minutes ago. There, so I need to go there. It's surrounded by spiders, but you know I can just take some crappy meat food. Um, oh, and I can. Oh, sweet! I can do the size two shooting stars. So if I find one of them, oh, that would be awesome if I could find a shooting star, which was because you get like cosmic runes from that. I think cosmic runes are what I need for enchantment spells. Let's see. Unauto cast that. Where is it? Uh, let's see. Sort by level order. Enchant crossbow. No, I want. There we go. Yes, one cr one cosmic, one water. To enchant sapphire. So. Yeah, I need a cosmic rune and a sapphire. I'm not sure exactly what the respawn time is on the sapphire. But I might go and grab a few. Maybe make ten rings. But I I need to actually be able to make rings. No, that means I need gold. I think gold is moderately high level. I do know where I can get some though. Just by the lesser demons, there's a ton of gold. It takes a while to get there. Once you are there, you'd be good. Ah, there's a bank right next to it for members. I should go to the Tazar place to train magic. Yes. If I can get... The Tockle can be used to buy runes, can be used to buy loads of stuff, and eventually I could get an Amulet of Fury, which will happen never. I don't even think I've got the magic level on my main to enchant an Onyx um, Amulet. It's seriously, everything is working together. I could definitely use some of the stuff um, from the Cesar place. If I could get an Obby Cape, that's like the same defense stats as um, as a, just a like a skill cape, just not a trim cape. Um, skill cape for um, for prayer because that's pretty much the only added bonus. Is prayer is the only added bonus just for prayer which is still pretty good but you know um, the obby cape is probably going to be the best cape that I'll be able to get um, anytime soon uh, but yeah the the tockle that they drop there's just there's a ton there's so much um, that could help so much just the defense bonus um, I think capes actually do help quite a lot as well just normally so right yeah Okay, now let's check my other slots. Oh no, I want to go to worn equipment. Right, what boots? That'll probably be the coloured boots. Ah, oh, yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, gloves. Maybe if I can get some van braces to protect from magic. Bearing in mind that I'm going to be praying melee while fighting the KBD, because that is his main source of attack. So you pray mage until you get up to him, and then you start praying melee. 
because he attacks more with melee and so when you're in front of him you can completely protect from that attack but if you're stood away from him praying magic then it doesn't actually help that much um, it's quite a fail actually so I know that I'll be using like a ring of recoil if I could get ah uh, no what shield An anti dragon fire shield seems like the best bet that's definitely what I'd say to stop me from taking solid 300s um, now what helmet I could get a coif from fist of Guthix. yes yes cape could be an obby cape necklace Hmm, it will probably be the amulet of accuracy if any of those goddamn imps ever drop a blue bead. Now, body and legs. Hmm, now it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be dragon hide stuff if I can get it. Like, the dragon hide chaps, they're gonna be difficult enough to get. But if I complete Dragon Slayer, then you can buy the dragon hide body from the shop. And actually, um, there might be a shop that sells the green dragon hide chaps. I think there is. And as such, one of them might sell um, the van braces, which would also be useful. So, yeah, honestly, I do think everything is coming together quite nicely. Um, what food am I going to use? I could definitely use curries. Or, I think, oh, no it's like whatever the next thing up above stew is it's like you can turn stews into something else by adding something uh, I'm not sure what you add uh, let's, you know what, let's just go and check, let's see, cooking um, let's see a stew on the main thing, not really whoa it's definitely not that high of a level let's see other uh, I think it's quite high level uh, so you make a stew and then yep stew. Uh, okay, and then you go down and you find this thing. New. Nope. Nope. Cake. Ah, I can make a baked potato with stuff on. If I can find out one that would have stuff on top. Okay, meat pizza. Meat pizza could be easy to make, but I don't think it heals too much and it eats in two bites. Uh, there we go, curry. Um, add spice or curry leaves. Right. So it's just spice or curry leaves. Um, but I think you just buy them from a shop. I think you can buy spice or curry leaves just from a shop. One's probably cheaper than the other, so I could work that out. It's quite a high level, though. I didn't, I didn't look exactly what level. Just know that it's quite high level. Because I just I just took a look. Um, and I wasn't quite paying attention. But I think it's it's like 60 or 68 or something. So that is quite high. Quite a high level for something like that. Hmm. I could definitely make some baked potatoes with something on. Um so I believe that you've just got a baked potato and then put some stuff on them. Uh, and I know that tuna and sweet corn potatoes are like top end food. They heal like 20 something. But really I only need one that can heal maybe 16... No, sorry, 160. Like, that's the same as swordfish. Um, and obviously I'm not going to go and get the fishing level for swordfish. And I'm especially not going to go and get the one for sharks. So they're both out of the question. Monkfish is completely out of the question because you need to do Swan Song. And I'm just not geared up for that in any way. You have to kill like a level 300 or whatever. Um, and that's just, there's not really any chance of that ever happening ever. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of gaps uh, in this KBD trip that I'm going to need to fill. Uh, I'm trying to think now if there's anything dungeoneering wise that could help me because I know that there's some really good dungeoneering equipment but like what is it? hmm hmm 
No, I could go over there, it's just there. I might go over there in just a second and check what stuff's in there. Um, maybe I, should, maybe I should get a clay ring, actually, instead of the lumbridge ring. But no, the, I think prayer might help a bit more. Yeah, the... yeah. Yeah, and then as soon as I can get some rings of recoil, I will. Uh, hopefully I'll get another sapphire from the next trip of mining and then then I'll have three that's still not quite enough hmm hmm buying two water runes 10k that is a bargain that is a bargain um really cheap for water runes was it too much room to walk to the Grand Exchange you know stock up I wonder what he even needs them for. Hmm. Oh well, that's a nice PK outfit there. Looks like he's been freezing people in place, which really sweets me off. I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, you can kill people or whatever, but it's still a pain in the ass. I wanted to see how... Oh no. I wanted to see how many people have died today, but they seem to have taken that sign out. It's a real pain. I enjoyed those signs, which do literally nothing. You know, it shows you how many cows have been killed today. It's usually a ridiculously large amount. Especially when bots were around, it was like 50,000 or something like that. Um, but then you have to question, what time does the day start? Is, I think, I'm pretty sure Jagex is in the UK, so it'll be just GMT, normal. Which is my time then. Love my time zone. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, I'm just taking a drink. Right now, after after this, uh, like after I've made all of these, um, all of these bronze arrow tips, I'm hoping that it gets me to about level twenty. Um, because there, you do get an awfully, an awfully large amount of XP uh, from making uh, like the finished bronze arrows, and I'll have a lot of bronze arrows to go and kill things with. So I might. I'm just, oh, no, I just, ow! God damn it! Sorry, I just hit my headset on the thing behind me. Um, right, I could go and kill hill giants, like with the stuff that I've got at the moment. Ah, uh, but I've only got nine ranged, and I kind of want to train up range pretty badly. But at the same time, I do need to get 55 magic. And, um, yeah. 55 magic for that high alk is really badly what I need. Hmm. Let's see. I think it is 55, yeah. 55. What level am I at the moment? 30. 55, honestly, for magic isn't going to be too much of a stretch. Just as long as I kill the right things, and I'm most likely the right thing is going to be a greater demon. Because then I could make a lot of money if I get a few uh, runeful helms. Uh, plus they drop fire runes and chaos runes. So, I could also... I could also go and try to kill some of these mage things I might go and kill a few if you don't know what um, I didn't really explain what I was talking about too well but it's the in the polypore dungeon the level 120 mages I don't believe that they deal too much damage I might go and just try and kill one because um, I do believe they've got pretty good drops like they're okay so meh um well the main thing that I would want is if I can get myself a set of that yes actually that could be the perfect top and legs and even helmet combo to go with each other if I could get the full set of that armor it breaks after like 15 hours of combat but still it would be it would be amazing to have like it's so strong. It's such a low level armor. But um the Gan Ganomeric 
or however it's pronounced, armor. That's like the best armor in the game at the moment, and that's from the same dungeon, just on the higher level enemies. Even the lower level stuff is really, really strong. It's like super powerful. Um, and it would only cost me a few K as long as I could keep killing the things. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna gear up for them in just a minute, and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do a trip. I'm gonna go see how I do, like where I need to improve on. And uh, if I kill them well, I will stay there until I can make a full set of that armor because the it's got incredibly low stab defense and incredibly low range defense, which just happens to be the two attack styles that the KBD does not attack in at all. Um. So, which is really awesome, but it's got an incredibly high defense in everything else. So, I'm going to be able to really, really like own them real bad. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to pretty much sponge all of the magic damage because the magic uh, slash and crush defenses are ridiculously high. So, I should really be able to sponge a lot of the magic damage. Um, and, but the, the, the real, and yeah, and if I'm completely protected against the melee attack, which I will be, also I could use Eagle Eye, I do believe I'll have, I'll have Eagle Eye by then, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's, oh no, it's 44, so I'll need to get 44 instead, I'll use Eagle Eye and that, maybe a Holy Symbol, but probably an Amulet of Accuracy, and I'll just, take a load of prayer potions just you know make sure that I don't run out and then the rest will have to be food the only problem with the KBD is if it does hit you it can really it can really stack up to some damage nah, it's not exact it's not weak the KBD when you're a low level um, it's actually real real strong so I could be in for some serious problems Oh, hmm. Just about to level up in smithing, which made me excited. Right, I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to kill this, uh, to be able to kill these mages. And there's also floating axes inside the polypore dungeon, um, which drop pretty much as many. Right, so I'm sorry. Let me just, let me explain it to you a tiny bit more clearly. Um, all of the creatures inside the dungeon drop flakes and obviously the lower level ones drop flakes for the lower level armor and the higher level ones which you need 95 slayer for drop flakes for the higher level armor now there are like little there are level 7 rat things in there and if I was to kill them they've got an uncommon chance to drop like two flakes and you need like a thousand flakes to make the f set of armor but the mages have got a common chance, and I think they drop about 100. And they can drop one to like 120. So, and um, there's also axes. Uh, they're like floating around, and they're um, about level 60, and they drop about one to a hundred flakes, I think. So they're really good as well. Um, right, that's. Can I get in here? I want to kill the imp. Yeah. So it's all. It's all really good. Um, a real win, I'd say. Right. So yeah, I can definitely. If I can, I'm not sure how strong they are. I think the mages are pretty strong. But um, was that the last bead that I need? Maybe it wasn't blue. Maybe it was white. Oh fuck! Yes! Yes! Fuck you, game! I'm so fucking excited right now! Ah oh, man, if that wasn't actually the one that I needed, I'm gonna be real pissed. But I think, I'm pretty sure that's the last one. So it's not blue, it's white. I've been saying blue. How embarrassing is that? Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I've got all four! Crap! Yes, you son of a bitch! Yeah! 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 Screw you, game! I know where you live. I'm gonna go get my amulet! <laughs> Crap!
Oh, I am so psyched. I am psyched up after getting that last beat. Oh my god, I've killed so many going for it. Oh, imagine if it disconnected. How pissed would I be? Um. Oh, man. Oh. I am literally, I am like, yes, at the moment. You know, I am, I am for the win. I am holy Jesus Christ in. I really badly just went off track. Right, anyway. And, yeah, the magic axes, they, um, they drop about one to a hundred flakes every time. Um, and, uh, I think they're about level 60 compared to the level 120, uh, mages. But, um, pretty much every everything inside this polypore dungeon has to be killed with magic otherwise if you use melee or range it only does one tenth of the damage so if you did a hundred damage you'd only do ten uh, so you just can't kill them that way it's literally impossible um, also if you stand right next to them they deal constant damage uh, it's literally literally constant and it's like one to three like every half a second so you can really stack up damage but um I believe if they're hitting you with that they don't hit you with the normal magic attacks so um, and it's also suggested with people with a lower magic level and low magic defense to stand in front of these mages instead of letting them shoot their magic spells at you so I might try I'm not actually sure what their max hit is so I could literally walk up to them and then they could just KO me like in three hits. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm completely not sure. I could always make a ton of stews. That they weren't that hard to make. Uh, I cook them moderately frequently. Um, and yeah, basically they're just pretty easy to make. So yeah. Uh,